Listen, I have something very urgent to tell you. Please stay tuned to the end of this video. My name is Z Matthew, and on this channel, we do questions about the church as well as original content. Now, I'm not saying all churches are like this, since some do walk in their calling. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset that we created the church to be. If you think it, then say it. People just can't resist the urge to say it. This appears to be the motto of most people today in our social media environment. This is what is presented to us all day long everywhere we look. By the means of social media, we have lost all of our civility. And to make this situation even worse is everyone hides behind the computer screen. On one side, we have people who are offended at everything in the world and they try to shame people to believe like they do. On the other side, we have people who are not inhabited to let the words of destruction fly. I, I guess all this is good in a way because you are able to hear directly from their heart. There is a spiritual law in the Bible which declares that out of abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. So the person who speaks these words of destruction are just sharing from the abundance of their heart. That would be a perfect example of that spiritual law. This is why Jesus chose to describe a different thought. He opened our eyes to renew our focus on the source of our words. The words we speak come directly from our heart. That is the source of our problem. Hate is residing in the heart. Speaking the hate is not the problem, but having hate in our heart to start with is the problem. Because some are able to hide the passions of their heart by not saying something through self-will. It doesn't mean that they are doing the Lord's work. The scriptures reveal that to think about stealing is just as bad as stealing. To think about killing is just as bad as killing. To feel hate in our heart is just as bad as spewing hate out of our mouth. Now, the standard is really not if we can stop the urge to say something wrong, but the true standard is not to have hate in our heart to start with. The new standard says love must be delivered out of the abundance in our heart. The challenge for us today is simple. Our challenge before us today is to have him clean our hearts and replace the hate with love and then speak with the love of God. And never forget, animated Christians is just for you.